In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the funniest performers that you will have seen on the internet, Michael Davis. Now, before we take a look at the hilarious work of Michael Davis, I have here a package, a special package. And inside of the package is a present, a present and some, some playing cards, apparently. What the hell? Why are there just a few playing cards in here? These playing cards, I know what these ones are. These are the fake playing cards. They're the I can't believe they're not real playing cards playing cards. You know what I'm saying? They don't even exist. They're not even real. Now inside of the present, there is another thing and that thing is an unsolved Rubik's Cube. The other crazy thing is that this present actually fits inside of itself. It doesn't make any sense, but we don't actually need that. What we need is an unsolved Rubik's Cube for some reason. Keep your eyes on the cube though, you'll actually see the moment that it starts to look as though it's becoming solved as I show you each side of the cube. And then all of a sudden with just the wave, it becomes completely solved. That right there is an unsolved Rubik's Cube, now solved and now unsolved again. And that is pretty sick. But yeah, I just dropped the cube on my lap for that last part, but the rest of it was sick. Now, personally, I think that magic and juggling kind of go hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? This is how we juggle in Australia. Check that out. Oh, how crazy is Oh, sh oh sh I don't even do that right. Yeah. Here's a juggling move I learned when I was in Japan. What? Shop! <laughs> Please don't cancel me. See, Michael Davis is not a magician, he's a juggler, but he's a damn funny one at that. And I guarantee by the end of this video, you will have laughed. You'll probably end up walking away from this video with a new joke that you'll say to all your friends and you'll claim it as your own, but it's not yours. Michael Davis's. Now before we take a look at the fantastic work of Michael Davis, make sure that you smash like if you haven't already and subscribe. But also, hit the notification bell. I can't stress this enough. Like 3% of you have hit the notification bell. I'm gonna need more of you to do it, okay? So hit that notification bell right now. I hate to be that guy, but if you don't do it, I'll fade away into obscurity and that would suck, you know what I mean? Like, I would just fade away. And there's just so much more that I wanna do, you know what I mean? All right. Shall we take a look at Michael Davis then? Let's go to YouTube. Oh, it's already here. <laughs> All right, here it is. The world famous Michael Davis clip. All right, strap in, get your laughing socks on. This is gonna be good. Good evening, my name is Michael Davis. Thank you. <laughs> Before I begin my act, I'd like to explain an old show business expression. They say a comic says funny things, but a comedian says things funny. This makes me a juggler. <laughs> I have an unusual philosophy about the art of juggling. I don't think it's important how many. <laughs> There are two ways to do juggling tricks, with applause and the way that we're doing them. <laughs> oh, no. This is a funny moment. Some people are a bit like weird about this. They're like, why does he have to ask for applause? This is not asking for applause. This is teaching people when to react. Because when you've never seen like a juggling show before, you require a little bit of training for your audience to let them know that like it's okay to clap. Because sometimes people will sit in an audience dead silent and it's not because they're not enjoying it it's because they don't want to interrupt the show or they you know they just want to make sure that they're being a good audience member so he's teaching them when it's okay to applaud and like you know that it's okay to just sort of relax a little make a little noise have a bit of fun that's kind of the point of that whole segment also his scripting is just you know what i'm saying too late <laughs> style <laughs> fabulous you want to be impressed no, it's not a difficult trick. I can tell from your reaction. <laughs> a really good juggler could do this and even look away. <laughs> Glancing around the room. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Nice dress. Sir. <laughs> Oi. 
So at this stage here, he's kind of like building up, you know what I mean? A progressive journey until the finale of the bit. The thing is on these old TV shows, they'd only get like seven minutes. They get one shot, they walk out on stage, they get like seven minutes. They gotta do the best that they can. And it's tricky, you know what I mean? Because an act before you or an act after you can be so different and you've gotta find that balance so that your act works regardless. And I think he kind of does that, you know, he's got a nice progressive journey in the seven minutes and it ends with like a beautiful finale. You'll see, it's, it's great. <laughs> and now without breaking stride, the object is of course to expand. <laughs> Watch as I place the third ball into the pattern. It's so good. The hand-eye coordination required for this is insane. We'll do a few fancy tricks in case there are any jugglers in the crowd. <laughs> Here's a funny thing about juggling too, which happens with magic as well. If you make a mistake, like you drop something, there's two ways to handle it. One is you kick and scream and you cry about it and you lose all credibility. And two is that you treat it the way that it's meant to be. Fun, it happens, you know what I mean? Like for example, with magic, if I nail the trick, people will respond to it obviously positively. But if I make a mistake and I like flash, you know what I mean? I like accidentally reveal what's happening before the, the trick is done. Then sometimes people will just kind of like watch you to see how you handle it. And if you like cave under that pressure, like if you start panicking or something, they'll attack you. But if you just do what he did, like he, in that scene, he like sort of looks at the crowd and he doesn't care. That man does not care that he just dropped a ball. <laughs> you may wonder why I threw that ball over there. <laughs> see, there you go. So am I. Beautifully handled. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm only teasing, I can use all of these, if I get rid of all of these. <laughs> I'd like to do a quick impression that I call juggling on a motorcycle. It's <laughs> a good bit. It's a good bit. That was stupid. <laughs> so far, it's what we like the best. <laughs> Find that frightening. Sometimes it's not important how many in terms of quantity. Is it affected by gravity? Or does the earth suck? <laughs> it's got such a dry humor, I love it. Sorry, I can't control my own sense of humor, but evidently you can, so. <laughs> the bowling ball, which I will attempt to combine with an egg. Natural enemy of a bowling ball. Third object. Oh, ridiculous. The trick is to eat the apple while juggling. First, a volunteer you, sir, please. <laughs> Examine it quickly. I'd like you to throw it back to me. I'll tell you when. <laughs> <laughs> I use that bit in my shows all the time. I think it's very funny. <laughs> I did mention I'm going to eat this apple, didn't I? <laughs> I hate to waste it. There are people juggling in India. <laughs> Try it again. One more time. Okay. Wait. <laughs> you missed throw it at exactly the right time because your throw is the first throw of the juggle and I have the second throw. <laughs> I hear the drummer. 
You must so loft good. it high in the air so I can catch it and begin to juggle. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> hey, impressive. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's Michael Davis for you, an absolute master of the comedic arts and of the juggling. This hat looks ridiculous, by the way. All right, to sign out, I'm going to try and catch this hat on my head by throwing it with my teeth. If I get it, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. First try. <sighs> Nailed it. Call me Bucky Nook. Lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh.